Hi all, in this video, we are going to analyze AWS IAM permissions using natural language and AI. Instead of manually searching through AWS IAM policies, we'll see how we can simply ask questions in plain English and get instant answers powered by LLM. Let's dive in. Managing AWS IAM permissions is challenging. It's like a complex maze of policies and access controls. AWS IAM isn't just one type of policy. There are multiple layers that define who can do what. There are IAM policies that are attached to principles like users and roles. There are resource policies which could grant access at the resource level, like S3 buckets. Then you could also have trust policies which are applied to IAM roles and limiting policies like permission spawnery, service control policies, or session policies. Each of these policies have a different role to play making it incredibly hard to do policy evaluation and to track who has access to what across AWS accounts. The result, manual audits take too long, privilege escalation risks go undetected, and least privileged best practices become hard to enforce. And when an over permission role is exploited, the impact can be severe. So how can AI help with this? Imagine you are a security auditor responsible for thousands of AWS accounts. You need to verify who has access to what, but instead of manually digging through JSON policies, what if you could simply ask questions in plain English and instantly get answers? Questions like who has administrative access, which roles can be assumed by external accounts, and which roles have actions with star. This is the power of natural language analysis for AWS IAM security. So how does this actually work? Let's break it down. At the start, we have a security auditor who simply asks questions in plain English. An AI-powered system, LLM, takes the auditor's question and translates it into a database query. That query is then sent to a database which has already been loaded with IAM permissions data from multiple AWS accounts. And just like that, the security auditor gets instant insights into IAM permissions without manually reviewing thousands of policies. Now let me show you this action with a live demo. So the first thing that we're going to do in the demo is the, I'm going to show you how you can extract permissions from AWS accounts. And uh, here I am locked into the management account. And if you're familiar with the concept of AWS organizations, that allows you to set one account as the management account and every other um, account within it becomes a child account. So locked into the management account and um, I'm going to use this account to extract all the permissions first from this account and then I'm going to pivot to all the other child accounts from this account uh, meaning I will assume roles from this account to all the other child accounts and I'm going to extract all those permissions into a JSON file. Okay, so I'm logged into the CLI from my management account using one of the users and I'm going to run a simple extract IAM prompts uh, a Python script that I have written and this is going to extract all the roles in my local account, which is the management account. Then it's going to assume role in two different child accounts and extract roles from there as well. So as you can see from the output, it says it has extracted 59 roles from these three accounts and stored them in a JSON file. And this is how the Python script looks like. There are a couple of accounts that I've set up here for the script to assume. And this is just a demo, so I've used two accounts. If you're doing this for your own, organization you might have to come up with a list of all of your accounts um, and it's basically assuming roles in those two accounts doing a list role and uh, extracting the trust policy as well as the attached policy and the inline policy for um, that particular IAM role and the output of this is a pretty simple JSON file which has at the top level the account ID for which the roles have been extracted from and then within this as you can see there are three account IDs here. Within these account IDs, you have different role names, um, all access role, AWS service role for CloudTrail. And within these roles, you have the role ARN, the trust policy, attach policy, and the inline policy. Now keep in mind that I have restricted the scope of this demo to only include roles. I don't have uh, users for which permissions I have extracted. I don't have resource policies or limiting policies like SCPs or session policies. The, the scope for this demo purposes is only evaluating the permissions of IAM roles from these three different accounts. 
All right, so for the next step, I'm going to deploy the open source database where we will be hosting our IAM policy data that we have just extracted. And I'm using open source here because it's um, highly scalable. It allows you to run very fast search queries. It has a very flexible uh, structure for queries. And um, the main feature for this demo, which is natural language querying, is something that is available out of the box with open search. And that's what we're going to leverage for this demo. Okay, let's go ahead and create this open search DB. I'm going to use the standard create uh, um, uh, option here and select the dev test template so that I can keep the cost down. No need for any standbys. And I'm going to select the latest version in order to use the Gen AI feature and keep the data nodes as one. I'm going to open the endpoint for public access uh, and um, create a username password for the open search dashboard. Please do not use this for production. This is just for this demo purpose. And uh, I'm going to scroll down and I will see this option here for Gen AI. And that's the feature that we need to enable for in to enable natural language query generation. And with all the defaults as it is, I'm just going to click on create and just wait for this database to be created. So the database is in active state now. And I'm going to copy the domain endpoint uh, from here and I'm going to paste it into my script, which is a pretty simple script. Um, it is basically opening the IAM roles.json and uh, from there it's uh, creating an index uh, into the open search using the domain endpoint and is basically loading all the data from the roles into the open search database. So let me switch to command line and let's run the script to see what happens okay as you can see from the output the data has been loaded into open search let's switch to the console and verify so i'm on the aws open search console and i will click on the open search dashboards link log in to dashboards using my username and password and the first thing that i have to in order to see my data is i have to create an index pattern uh, matching the name of the index which was uploaded and in this section, I'll click on create index pattern. And if I um, see, I can already see that there is IAM underscore roles here. So I just have to put in that name here and go next. And this will create my index pattern. And um, as soon as I do this, I can immediately see all the different fields from the JSON have already been populated here. And um, this is all the fields there. 224 fields that have been automatically populated from JSON and um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, see what my data has been uploaded in order to verify that everything is um, there as expected so I'll go back to the main uh, section and click on discover and uh, and immediately as I do this I can see my IM underscore roles uh, index selected and I can see that there are 59 hits which means there are 59 individual rows um, which corresponds to the IM roles that I have uh, imported so everything looks good from the data standpoint so now that our data is loaded into open search let's go ahead and see how we can leverage gen AI to talk to this data so this feature is available in the event explorer section within the logs um, section in open search and um, here we see the query assistant here and so instead of writing the whole SQL query uh, would just be writing a simple uh, statement like show all rows with attached policies that have policy ERN like administrator access. And if I click generate on run, it automatically converts my query into the PPL query, which is the piped uh, processing language. This kind of like an SQL like uh, query in open search that uses pipes. Um, to segregate different uh, parts of the query. And uh, as you can see, it already has four hits. So let me copy and paste some of these role names and verify if in fact they have the administrative access policies from uh, the JSON file that we had earlier. And um, just copying this VM admin role, we can see that it has administrator access. Um, let's do this again for the organizational account access role. And yep, that's also administrator access. And similarly, the RDS monitoring role, it's also administrator access. So this is working as expected. It's finding the uh, 
uh, roles which have administrative access just by using natural language uh, to converse with the database. So let's go to our next example. All right, so next let's look at another example which is very important for security auditors. Uh, we'll be searching for IAM pass role permission assignments in the role either using their dash policy or the inline policy and again see how easy it is for us to make this uh, query in a simple english language and how complicated the ppl query itself is so this llm is doing a great job of hiding this complexity from us and we have 13 hits here let's see a role here and confirm if this is working as expected so the ec2 admin role and if we see in our json we can go down, we can verify that the inline policy does allow IAM pass role. So um, IAM pass role, which is a very important use case for security auditors to uh, understand where escalation privileges might be happening, it's also something that we can very easily uh, check via this tool. All right, let's take a look at another example that is also pretty relevant to security engineers and uh, for this one we're trying to detect lateral movement from one AWS account to another so I have my question to LLM show me all roles where the trust policy has STS assume role and the principal AWS is like root and so I can see that I have six hits here uh, which are essentially all the roles which have um, uh, trust policy saying that uh, this role can be assumed by an AWS account. Now this does not mean that these six roles are cross account roles. So we might have to tweak this question a little bit more. So I'll update my question to LLM to say, hey, please exclude all the AWS accounts which are part of my AWS organization. So the three accounts which we started off collecting this data for. And the result of this should be truly the, the roles which have assigned AWS Assume permissions uh, for external uh, accounts. And uh, we have one hit here, and we can see that this account is giving access to this um, account ending in 9197, which is not part of the three that I have mentioned as part of my query. So this works pretty well, and as you can see, this is a complex PPL query, and this is also an eye-opening security finding if you are an auditor for these accounts, because you know that this is an external account, and this might uh, lead to uh, lateral movement from one account to another, and um, so this is an important security finding, and this tool is very easily able to give you that information. Okay, let's see one final example. And in this example, we are finding all roles which have action is equal to star. Now, star is a wildcard in AWS IAM policies, and it's a big violation of least privilege because if you assign this to roles, it essentially means you're assigning all perm AWS permissions to that role. So, um, in our LLM, we just wrote that show me all roles where action is equal to star, and it quickly converted into a PPL query, query and we have five hits here. And let's take an example of this, or one of these roles here. Uh, let's pick the a all access role here. And if, you, if we go to the JSON, we can see that this role is assigned a custom IAM policy uh, where you can see the permission as action is equal to star. So this query is working as expected. And this is different from the administrative access query because here uh, there is a custom policy that has been assigned to this role. This is not assigned the administrative access AWS policy. So you have those two different use cases of uh, these privilege violations. All right, so we have seen how we can analyze AWS IAM permissions using natural language in this demo. But what would it take to scale this into a full-fledged IAM chatbot for production use? There are four key areas we need to focus on. First, in our demo, we only extracted IAM policies, but IAM is more than just that. We also need resource policies, service control policies, and permission boundaries to get a complete security picture. And right now, we are just looking at roles, but what about policies attached to users and groups? We need to bring them into the analysis as well. The second thing that we need to be thinking about is how to scale the solution to hundreds or even thousands of AWS accounts. 
uh, think about it extracting and processing IAM data across that many accounts requires a robust multi-processing should dealable com complete setup we need to automate this process using either AWS Lambda or EC2 or some other scalable service, but we need to ensure that it runs smoothly and efficiently. Third, open search is a great choice for our database, especially for this kind of a demo. But for production, we need it to be multi-node with redundancy and scalability built in to be able to handle large volumes of IAM data efficiently. And finally, the most important piece, the AI model itself. Right now, we are using OpenSearch's built-in LLM for natural language query conversion, but it's quite limited. In a real chat, IAM chatbot, we would want a custom LLM that can go beyond just querying data. It should be able to identify least privilege, detect privilege escalation risks, evaluate policies, and even suggest some security improvements. So while this demo is a strong proof of concept, these enhancements would take it to the next level making it a scalable, production-ready IAM security assistant.